graph the following roses and find the points at which the petals begin and end. So when I graph a function like r equals 3 sine 2 theta, I will in this case get what looks kind of like a daisy. They're called rose curves. And an important set of points for this graph is where our petals are starting and ending. In other words, what thetas, when I plug them in, will give me uh, this point. And so it's not just one theta, one value for theta that gives me that point, it's actually um, infinitely many, but what we're going to care about is five of those values because we want to know what point do I have to plug in to start one of my petals. And then it's going to graph that petal and end up back here, so that's our second point. And then it's going to graph a new petal and end here, so that's our third point. Graph a new petal, that's four graph the last petal, that ending point is our last point we need. So that's five of them. So when we're looking for where the petals begin and end, we'll always do one more point than however many petals we have, because we have to have a beginning and ending point for each, but for most of our petals, there's overlap, except for our first and our last one. So what we're gonna do is all of these have an R value of zero, we just have different values for theta. So we're going to set this equal to zero and solve. Now as far as solving this goes, it's actually pretty simple because I can divide by three on both sides to get rid of the number in front, which zero divided by three is still zero. So zero equals sine two theta. Now I don't mess with the two right now. I first have to get rid of sine. To get rid of sine, I say when is sine equal to zero? And so I either need to think about it or draw some triangles maybe or get out my unit circle. So sine, which is our y value on the unit circle, has, that happens at zero and at pi. But because this is two theta, when I get rid of my sine, I'm gonna have two theta equals something and so I actually need to write this in a way that gives me all of my solutions and not just these two. Zero and pi are answers, but so is two pi and three pi and four pi and so on. And so the way we write that is we say, well, what's our first answer, like our smallest answer, which would be zero, and then how much do I have to go to get to all the rest of my answers? I have to go pi, and so I'm gonna put 0 plus n pi to show that I have an answer at 0 and then every pi after that I have an answer as well. So to finish solving this for theta I have to divide everything by 2 which at some point here I can go ahead and get rid of this 0 at the front. 0 divided by 2 is still 0 and 0 plus anything is just that thing so I really just need to have this as n pi over 2 And so that will give me any thetas that I want. Now I want five thetas. And so to find those five thetas, I'm going to plug in numbers for n. So I'm gonna start with zero because that's basically gonna give me my um, simplest answer is if I plug in for zero, my smallest angle that's not negative. So I'm gonna plug in and say that n is zero. Well, when I do that, I get zero times pi over two, which is zero. So that gives me a point for my answer, zero comma zero. And then I'm gonna plug in one, and I'm just gonna keep plugging in points until I have my five answers that I need. When I plug in one, I get one pi over two, which is just pi over two. And so all of these will have our values of zero because again, or on a, a similar problem we did, um, we set r as zero. So our r value here has to be zero. And so now I have two points, I need a total of five. So I'm gonna keep plugging in until I have five different angles. So I end up having to do zero through four uh, to get that. 
So now I'm going to plug in 2, 2 pi over 2. Well, that simplifies to just be pi. Um, 3 pi over 2 is just 3 pi over 2. And then uh, 4 pi over 2 simplifies to just be 2 pi. So these five points would be our answers. And the reason there's five of them is because we had four petals, so we needed one more point than what, um, than how many petals there were. So if there were, say, six petals, I'd have to have seven points. Or if there were three petals, I would have to have four. But otherwise, the process would would pretty much work out to be the same.